At six, the future of social care in England. MPs prepare to vote on the Prime Minister's plans this evening. Boris Johnson insists his proposals will end a long-standing social injustice. Labour calls it daylight robbery. Also on the programme tonight. With fantastic uh, broadband. Uh... Raised eyebrows as the Prime Minister loses his way in front of business leaders in a speech about levelling up the UK. Forgive me. Bulb, the gas and electricity provider, goes into administration, affecting almost two million customers in the UK. A BBC investigation discovers that the deaths of two women who died of herpes days after giving birth in Kent are linked. And hundreds line the streets in Southend to pay tribute to the Conservative MP, Sir David Amos, who was stabbed to death last month. Coming up in Sports Day later in the hour on the BBC News Channel, back in the frame is Maurizio Pochettino, the long-term answer for Manchester United. And will he leave PSG mid-season? Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six. The Prime Minister has defended his plans for reforming social care in England as MPs prepare to vote on his proposals tonight. Boris Johnson called his plan incredibly generous and said it would help tackle what he calls a long-standing social injustice over cost. The government unveiled its proposals in September, which include an £86,000 cap on personal care costs, but an amendment to the plan said support payments from councils will not count towards the cap. Charities have warned it will mean some of the less well-off will be unfairly hit. It's thought some backbench Tory MPs could rebel when they vote later. Here's our political editor, Laura Koonsberg, 